Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. And now it's time for the infamous watermelon shine. Which we need to get from here, all the way down to that little house across the water from here. And we need to push it, and not have it touch any Kratoquax, not accidentally break it ourselves, and just get it to the end. So let's see how well we can get it to the end. So, first of all, I'm gonna see if I can get it... Oh, it's teleporting around. So, oh, see, that's how easy it is to break it. Just pu pushing it into a, an object across from you, basically. So, anyway, let's try this again. And if I can get it in the right position, I can actually... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, please don't touch my watermelon. Don't touch my watermelon. We can also push it with water if we need to. Not that we have much water to move it with. But anyway, let's push it down there. Oh, is that one over here? Oh yeah, there's a lot of cataquacks around. Here, let me break my own watermelon. Cool. Here, have a gift. It's a watermelon just for you. Uh, this is not going to end well at all. It's This is a very difficult shine to get. So, don't feel bad if you do it and, like, it takes a while. Also, there is some incredible times that people have done this in one one shot by kicking it right where it needs to go from here, basically. Because of that, because of building up the speed and momentum enough, it just goes flying. Please don't touch it, please don't touch it. No, he touched it and it touches the ground and pops. That's annoying. Oh my goodness, this is going to take a while. You can stun the Cataquax, but they don't get stuck. Like, they don't permanently get out of the way. Although... We did learn something, didn't we? Hang on, what happens if I do this? Does that kill you? Oh, he's gone! Oh, he, he but he's not gone. So now that there, you can't get rid of them. That's a, that's a shame. Because I really wanted to get rid of them. Okay, let me try this again. I've seen I've seen somebody do it before where they knock it straight into where it needs to be. But the likelihood of actually getting it to where it needs to go is so unlikely, and I'm gonna die as well if I'm not careful. If I can stop getting thrown by cataquax! Oh my goodness, cataquax. <sighs> this is a very rage game. I like I know it is, but Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, don't touch it, oh, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Why? Please give me that coin. I need more coins. Ow! I can't steal these, can I? No, I can't. Okay. I am definitely gonna die there. Let me, let me try to get some coins to heal. I wish there was an easy way to heal than just collecting coins. This is what you get, Cataquax, for being... Oh, there goes the coin. That's fine. I don't need it, so... It's not a blue coin. Oh, please, please, please don't throw me! I don't like Cataquax. I don't know how long the stun lasts, so I'm gonna just take advantage of it and see how well it goes. There goes that coin. Okay, they, they're probably going to get up before I even get to the watermelon again. Okay, here we go. Full speed ahead! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're all back up again. At least I can stun them now once I get my watermelon going again. Oh, don't touch my watermelon, 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 okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm pretty much good now, as long as this cataquack stays away from me, oh my goodness, I'm going so fast, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster, okay, we're good, oh, you just have to get it close enough to this guy, whoa, now that's a big old watermelon, like I've never seen, I don't even need to get out, the 
Ah, uh, Caliper for this one. You win. There we go. Also, that thing that that thing that breaks down the watermelon does hurt you. But the interesting thing about that is, if we grab the shine, we're just standing on top of it now. <laughs> oh my goodness! I got the watermelon shine. The dreaded, horrible, nightmare-inducing watermelon shine. Okay. That's all eight regular shines in this level now. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. There is still more blue coins and shines to get there, but... I mean, I am going to leave it for now. And I might actually try getting some more blue coins here from people who want... The la ladies who want fruit. Hello! You want to work for me for a little bit? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some... Bananas! Pr please bring me br bring me three, would you? Just bring the fruits here and put it in the, the bas this basket, okay? So yeah, as I said last time, don't accidentally not talk to her, because if you don't talk to her, you can put it in the basket and it won't do anything. It only counts the ones after you put it in, or talk to her, that's the one. But anyway, this one's fairly easy to do. Just need to drop it in there. Okay. Let's grab another banana. You can also just throw them fairly far. Oh, if that landed in there, that would have been cool, but it's not going to do that. Because yeah, you're supposed to probably throw it into the basket, but you can just jump onto the edge of the basket and drop it in. Which is just infinitely better. Anyway. Let's keep, keep this up. Oh my goodness, that's like perfectly in line. How did that- <gasps> Oh, Pog! Thanks, sweetums! And we get a blue coin. That is probably the best attempt at that I have ever had. That's amazing. I love that. Anyway. There's not too many of these blue coins to get from these ladies, but anyway. Hello! Would you like to- you want to work for me for a little bit? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some pineapples. Bring me three, would you? Just bring the fruit here and put it in this basket, okay? Oh, the basket that's in midair. Cool. It's not really in midair. It's got a little pole thing that it's attached to, but still. Oh, don't launch me away from where I'm trying to go. Okay, pineapple. That's a goal. If we go in the right direction, that is. So we need to actually throw this into the basket. Oh wow, that's a lot of speed. <laughs> so much speed. So, if I can get it at the a slower speed and throw it in, that'd be great. So like here maybe, and then throw. Wrong angle, not close enough. Okay, so maybe a little bit closer like there-ish. Nice. Now we just need to do that a bit. There's also just fruit in different locations around Defino Plaza, so... Where you get the pineapples or bananas or whatever from can be different. Depending on what you, how close you are to a, the objective and all that, so... Anyway. Oh, I need to actually jump and throw. Nice. Okay, one more. And then we'll probably do the last one, which is f somewhat difficult to do. Oh, don't fall down. That's fine, I can get up here as well. Okay, here we go. Last one. Make a count. Nice. Thanks, sweetums. And thank you for the blue coin. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Now, for the last one, we have to go over here and talk to you. Hello! You want to work for me for a little bit? 
I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some durians. Bring me three, would you? Just bring the fruit here and put it in this basket, okay? Now, the thing about the fruit in this game is that if it touches water, it disintegrates. The other thing about the durians is that you can't pick them up. You have to kick them. So you have to kick this Dorian across the water and somehow get it to where it needs to be. So let's see how well I can do this, which is probably not going to be very good, but that's fine. If you dive into a Dorian, it goes flying, which is how you're supposed to get it across. So, but otherwise, I don't know how, what a good strategy is to get it across, so. Um, dive. No. Dive. Oh, there it goes! Oh, did it break? It might have broke. It might have gone in the water and died. Oh no, it's way over there. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not any better than just going around this way anyway. Because you're supposed to go up that ramp, but, you know, ramps are not fun with durians and kicking them. And there it goes. That works. Cool. Okay. Now let's get it into a better position. And then you have to also be careful because if it touches one of those umbrellas on the top, it will also bounce up and over, so you need to be careful about that. Oh, please don't bounce. Thank you. Let's head on over. And let's kick it into the goal. So now just imagine that you didn't talk to the lady who wants the Dorians, and then you give her three Dorians, and nothing happens. <laughs> Pain and suffering happens, though. So yeah, make sure you talk to the lady first. Otherwise, you are going to be it. kicking Dorians for a long time. Okay, let me get that off, away from the edge. Also, I think, like, turning quickly, like, too quickly into a, a Dorian like that can be annoying. Going from one direction directly into the Dorian again. Okay, I can't see. Hopefully this lands. Nope, that's going that way. Let me move into a better position so I can actually see what I'm doing. Just be very slow about it so you can line up yourself a little bit better. And go! Oh, I landed in the wall. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's fine, though. Where's the Dorian? On the flippy panel. Cool. Good. I'm actually doing fairly well at this Dorian right now. It's usually a lot harder than this, sir. But I've only played the game, like, twice, so... I steal skills from others. That's kind of how it is with me, though. If I watch something, I can usually do it. Oh, there it goes. That was actually perfectly angled. Somewhat. Except it's all the way over here now. And that was way further away than where it needs to be. Oh, sir, sir, sir. Sir, you're making this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be already. There it goes. Please don't bounce into the water. Oh, it's fine. Good. Okay, let's just kick this into a good spot, and then let's send it flying. Oh, I fell in the water again. Let's see where it went. If it went down the ramp, that's also somewhere you need to check, so here it is, and let's just, oh, let's just see if I can kick it up nice and quickly, maybe. Although it's a little bit difficult because it keeps going back down. And it will disappear after an amount of time has passed, so you have to actually get it moving up to where it needs to be quickly as well. Oh, I can't see it. That's fine. And done. Thanks, Sweetums. No, thank you. I'm done with all the blue coins that I think I can get at the moment. Um, now, let me think. What do I want to do next? I'm not exactly sure. I guess I should go to another level, and not just hang around here forever. So I think we can't do anything else in Rico Harbor at the moment. So I think the only level we haven't actually done everything in at the moment. Or I guess there's also Pinna Park. But there's also... Uh, Bianco Hills to do, so... 
let's do that. Red coins of Windmill Village. Works for me. Just some red coins around the village to collect. Although I think... No, no mind. I'm, I'm just crazy. That is just all it is. Let's do that. Also, I believe, possibly now, we get a little bit higher. I might actually be wrong about this. I'm, I think I'm wrong. Okay, there is nothing up here. I thought there would be, but nope. Also, there's three of those guys in that, those trees now as well, so that might be a problem, but that's that's that, that's a future me problem. Also, hey, look. Rico Harbor. Obviously can't go there because there's an invisible wall here, but that'd be interesting. Also, I'm glad there's an invisible wall there, so you can't just jump off and die, because that would be bad. Anyway, let's grab this. And let's also grab the rocket nozzle. And so we can get it in this level now. There's another one that's of these red boxes closer to town, so... Oh, there's the guy up there. Let me jump out and say hello. Because I believe if I clean him, good things will happen, right? Phew, you saved me. Thanks a bundle. Yep, he gives me a blue coin. I almost got a hundred blue coins already. And actually, we can see our hundredth blue coin already. Also, I think if I get this water skitter closer and then, ow, and then... If I can manage to actually get on top of it while it's shaking. Oh, I think I can't do it very well without the hover nozzle. The hover nozzle makes it easier to do that. Anyway, let's go down here and grab this blue coin. Ah, uh, 100th blue coin. What a moment. And let's head back up to the surface real quick because there's these lily pads here. And if I can get on top of one, we can then use the whatever squatty nozzle, I don't, know, I don't know what it's called, to push ourselves around, which is cool. But there's also this guy over here that I want to say hello to. If I can. Oh, come on. Uh, let's just do that to get up. If I can. Hello. This is the Cliff Spring Cave. You know the drill, no one beyond this point. Oh, okay. Well, there's a box there, and I'd like to try that out at some point. But I guess not. Anyway, let's keep moving around. I think there might be another blue coin in the water somewhere that I want to find. I don't know where exactly, though. What I do want to look at, though, is if I can get up here. Nope, not with that. Not like that. Oh, let me... Oh, please. 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 Nope. What a skitters, just let me bounce off of you. Oh please, what a skitter, please. Oh please, what a skitter. Okay, if I spray you and then nope. Please? Oh what a skitter, are you stuck? I think it's stuck. I think it's absolutely stuck. On top of the the lily pad. That's actually kinda cool. That's a glitch, so. Let's... Oh, not. It's fine now. Let me bounce off of here, and then now we're really high up. I believe that's how they get up super quickly in speedruns, is they use that to bounce themselves up all the way. Anyway, there's a blue coin here if we spray this ground. Now, I believe there's also another blue coin if I go higher up on the windmill as well. So let me tr check that. I'm not actually sure. I might be wrong, actually. And I'm quite happy to be wrong, but I'd like to... Oh, actually, there is actually one up here, but it's not the one, not what I'm thinking about. Because I can spray here, but nothing happens, right? Yeah. Okay, so, instead of that, let's just go up the windmill. Again, because, you know. Oh, there's a blue coin there as well. I'll get that eventually. Anyway, let's try going up here. Because up the very top now is a pokey that we can get rid of. Ow. Oh, don't kill me, please. But if we kill him, we get a blue coin. And blue coins actually do heal you, apparently. I just realized that. Okay, let's try and get that one over there now. Oh, camera angle, please. 
Oh, nope. That's a shame. Ah! Of course I banged into it. Um, it looks like there aren't any more blue coins in this water. But there is one on the bridge. Under the bridge. Which I tried to get before, but it wasn't there because it was the wrong mission for it. So yeah, you do need to actually check places you've already checked sometimes for blue coins. Depending on which mission you select. We drop down. And now... Actually, I think it might be time to explain some of these different markers on the wall. So, these markers on the wall, if you spray them, makes a blue coin appear on the opposite one of the markers, which matches up with the same uh, shape. Oh, yes. So, you need to go across to get it, and it's usually time-based, so you only have a limited time to get to it quickly. So, yeah. That's the thing about these X's and O's and triangles and pretty much any other type of graffiti, graffiti so. That's just all there is to those different ones. So you also usually need a different uh, nozzle to get to them. At least faster. Now let me get you. I think I'm going to need some more water. So let me... I guess I'll switch nozzle to the hover nozzle. And let's get the rest of these uh, red coins. Oh, I fell off. Mario. 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 <laughs> Grab the rope. My favorite ISO game. Okay, let's grab that, and let's hop down here. Also, I believe if we spray these bells here, a one-up pops out, but we don't need it, so. So instead, let's just keep looking around, and figure out what I'm going to do first. Probably go up this way, dodge the wind. Okay. Okay, very nice. Oh, I need two more. One that is over here. Ow. And then the last one, which is somewhere. Is it actually in one of these things? No. That was a, a blue coin in one of them, but not anymore. So where is my last red coin? I don't think it's somewhere extremely well hidden. It's not up there, is it? No. It's not up there. Oh, I see it. It's like way far, far away, but that's okay. Let's uh, go get it. It's just on the edge of this wall here. All the way over here. Let's grab that. And the shine's all the way up there, so we have to actually go back to where I was just two seconds ago. To actually get to that shine. Or, now that I've unlocked the rocket nozzle, it could be a little bit, a little bit faster than that. So let me grab that, and let's launch almost all the way up. Now let's launch again from here, and there we go. Very nice. Let's hop back in. Petey Piranha Strikes Back. Town is covered in goop, and Petey Piranha's way over there. At least the cutscene showed us a blue coin that was up there as well. So that'll be useful once we actually get there. And now let me check again, because I have to check every single time. Okay, this is the actual one. This is the actual mission that is up here. So if we actually get up here to help this guy, who, who has appeared in multiple places, if we talk to him again... Phew, you saved me! Thanks a bundle! And he gives us another blue coin. 
That's why I've been checking up here, because I wanted to get that blue coin out of the way. It's one of the ones I remember the most, for some reason. So let's go to Petey Piranha now. And actually, I remembered something else I can do with this uh, rocket nozzle, so... Let's also do that. Ow. So if we go over here, there's this one blue coin up there, which we couldn't get to with the, with the hover nozzle, so let's just launch ourselves up here and get it. Now let's go to where we actually need to go. Oh, if, as long as we go in the right direction. Can I stand up there? No, I can't. Okay. Over oh, here's where I'm actually supposed to be. Oh. Please go up. You can get up here with the, um, the hover nozzle, though. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. But, you know. I mean, I can spray this thing, probably. Not very well from this position. But anyway, let's go get that blue coin over there. Very nice. Now let's head down. Probably spray some of this area clean. And we also have these, um, mo the goo monsters again. To give us some more, uh, water if we need it. And we've also got these things that attach to your flood, which is annoying sometimes, but in this case it's actually kind of useful because we're going to spray you full of water and then let go in a certain way to make you... Oh, hello. Thanks for the water. To make you... Oh, come on. Oh, these things are really trying to get me right now. But if I can aim correctly and then release a little bit lower, you'll hit Peep Rhino waking him up. But we, we don't want to have the, um, those whatever things stuck to our, uh, flood. Ooh, you saved me. Thanks, bundle. No blue coin, but that's fine. I believe, uh, the, the pump head seems to have no effect while he's moving. Good to know. Well then, let's wait for him to get, stop moving, and then shoot him with water. We're actually supposed to be down there right now, so. But now he's on the ground, so let's see what we can do. Oh, he's doing his attack. It's basically the same fight as in the min windmill, but we actually need to actually get him. Once he's on the ground. Where'd he go? Way over there. Oh, he's, he's here. He's about to spray some water at me. Oh, I just changed my nozzle by doing that. That's not good. Okay. Let's see if I can get him. Same as in the windmill. Spray him in the face when his mouth is open. Oh, I missed my timing. Bad timing. Okay. You actually need to make sure he swallows before you stop spraying him in the face. Oh, please slam him. Thank you. And that's just how it is. You have to keep doing that. He's gonna move around some more. There are several places he can stop, so... You can probably follow his shadow to make sure you know what you're doing. Just stay a little bit away so you can actually aim straight up at him. Otherwise, you're probably gonna... It's easy to miss him. If you're too close to him. Okay. There we go. Okay, he's going. Oh, I missed time that badly. Go, 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 go. What a strange sound he makes whenever you're spraying him in the face. Here we go. Hit number two, so we should take one more hit. And then we'll be good. Oh, he's going back. Okay, back here again. He's also got another move where he can make um, tornadoes appear like this. So you need to stay away from the tornado and get closer to him. And then just go from there. Just dodge the tornado. That's all you need to know. I feel like that's a normal thing for people to do. Oh, I'm inside of him. How am I inside of him? That's not good. 
because I'm going to miss my chance. Unless I get him. Good. Anyway, let's go over this way because this is where the shine's going to spawn in. I almost got it. Perfect. Anyway. So there we go. We're getting a fair way into uh, Bianca Hills, but now, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.